having multiple monitors is both a waste of your money and also a waste of your focus. Today we're talking about why. Every OS has a concept of multiple desktops, but it's actually more nice than you think. Let's take a look. So this is my main desktop. As you can see, I just have my coding for my website here. If I want to move over to Figma, I can do that. If I want to go over to like personal browsing or other tools, I would move over here. And here is actually a tweet I made, which actually sparked the interest of this video. I have another desktop as well, but that's more for work related things. So if I would take them in order, we would have a coding, we would have personal, I have work on another desktop, and then I have used generic other tools on my fourth one. In this case, it's Figma. So one of the most neat things of having multiple desktops is that you always focus on one thing. In this case, I focus on coding. In this case, I focus on Figma design. And in this case, I don't focus on anything. I just, I don't know, spend time on Twitter, I think. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I focus on coding. Now, the reason I mentioned that having multiple desktops takes your focus away is that probably for me and many others, is that you code while also having some video on the side or doing something else on the side, which in general just takes my focus. I don't typically get into kind of a flow state of just coding, which I do a lot more frequently now. Another very valuable point is that you don't have to spend a ton of money on multiple displays. You can just have one display and that's, that's that. So I'm gonna just show you how you can set this up. I highly recommend to keybind every desktop that you would want to use and try to keep it in a more systematic ordering so you can just remember and you switch to whatever you're kind of thinking of. I don't have to think of just moving over to like browsing Twitter or any other like Google something or watch YouTube. I don't have to think about moving over to Figma designs or my other tools that I remember having here or like remember that I need to go back to desktop one for, for coding. That's all used automatic for me. I don't have to think about anything. So let's go into setting this up. This is for Mac. So let's head into settings. If you scroll down, you should see keyboard. In here, you can take a look at keyboard shortcuts and you can go then to mission control. If you select the dropdown here on mission control, you should see that we have multiple desktops here. So one thing you might notice is that you might not have multiple desktops. In this case, you just have to create multiple desktops. I won't go through how you manage multiple desktops. You can find multiple videos of that. Once you have multiple desktop setups, which means once you have created four desktops, you would just bind them to whatever you want to bind them. Um, ignore my keybinds in general here. I'm using a very custom layout on my keyboard, so it's very hard to, to replicate this in general. Pick whatever keybind you want to. Uh, in this case, um, one, two, three, and four is actually on my pinky, ring finger, uh, long finger, and then, yeah, index finger. Um, and I use switch between those four. It's on my left hand. Pick this to whatever you want. And just try to use that for a week, and you will notice that you will kind of move a lot smoother around your desktop environment. Now, this works perfectly fine if you're using Linux and Mac. If you're using Windows, they actually have multiple desktops, but they don't allow you to keybind specific desktops. You, you can use keybind to like move between them, which is a real pain. I don't recommend that in general. The best workaround I found that to be would be to actually bind application per application in the uh, status bar. So you would have, for example, VS Code or a terminal on one, and then you would have the browser on two, and then Discord or Slack on three, kind of so on. That's the best workaround I've found. In general, it doesn't work that good on Windows. And yeah, I hope you learned something. I hope you use multiple desktops instead of multiple monitors. Don't waste money, it's not worth it. I've done it multiple times, not doing it again. Oh, and also you can probably check the like last video here, maybe here, here, I don't, I don't know, here.